everybody and welcome and I have some new subscribers welcome to you I'm so glad to have you with me today I am going to start the first of my making something from basically junk stuff you throw away but I believe in recycling what we can so let's see what we can do with this this is the cover and I know you probably can't see it real well this is the cover of a mouse for my computer I bought and I was looking at it and I thought, you know what, that's kind of bathtub shaped. Yes, it's kind of small, but it's kind of bathtub shaped. So I thought, well, maybe I could make a soaking tub out of it. So let's go ahead and give it a try. The first thing I'm going to do is attempt to coat this with gesso because I am thinking right now I would like to use a air dry clay just to, you know, and I've cut down around the packaging and I have left a little lip on the edge. I don't know, I think you can see that there. And then I have this little thing in the bottom where the, you know, the little scrolly deal was. Um, but I'm just gonna fill that in, I think. So I'm gonna try covering this with gesso. Well, I'm back. The gesso has dried and I've decided I kind of want to try to paint this instead of the clay. I have tried using clay and stuff like this before and not had a lot of luck. Hello and welcome back. I um, am going to start the clay, which is not one of my better things. Um, I was try. I thought maybe I could just paint it, but it's not going to give me the look I want. So I am going to attempt the air dry clay, which is getting kind of dried out. So it's probably a good thing I'm using it. I. I'm not going to roll out a huge piece of it and try to put it on because I don't have much luck with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be piecing it and then I'm going to be wetting it down so that I can smooth it out and smooth it around a little bit. And I think the first thing I'm going to do is take a piece of this and I'm going to plug this little dip in there. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a dip in the bottom. Oh, there it is. You can see it on the outside. And that needs to be plugged up. Hello and welcome back. I um, am going to start the clay, which is not one of my better things. Um, I was try. I thought maybe I could just paint it, but it's not going to give me the look I want. So I am going to attempt the air dry clay, which is getting kind of dried out. So it's probably a good thing I'm using it. I am not going to roll out a huge piece of it and try to put it on because I don't have much luck with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be piecing it and then I'm going to be wetting it down so that I can smooth it out and smooth it around a little bit. 
And I think the first thing I'm going to do is take a piece of this and I'm going to plug this little dip in there. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a dip in the bottom. And there it is. You can see it on the outside. And that needs to be plugged up because otherwise I'm just going to keep pushing clay down into it and... All right, so this has finally set up. The clay is finally dry. And I did have one crack down in there. I'm not gonna try to do anything with it, I think, because I think when I paint this inside, it's all gonna work out. So the next thing I'm gonna be doing is I'm taking some 120 grit sandpaper and I'm just gonna be sanding off my clay where it's kind of lumpy and bumpy and trying to smooth it out a little bit. So I'm going to do that and I'm probably going to do it off camera because it's going to take a while. And as soon as I'm done with that, I'll be back with you. All right, so I've got it sanded. It's not the most perfect job in the world, but I think it's, I think it'll do. It's got a few lumps and bumps in it, but you know, I'm, I'm happy with how it is and so the next thing I'm going to do with this is I am going to paint the inside of it white.
Okay, the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to paint the outside of it black. Now, a lot of them are white, just completely white. And some, like, I have a small antique tub, little clawfoot tub, and it's a small size. And mine was painted black on the bottom. So now I am just going to be putting the gloss Mod Podge on the inside of our little tub. All right, so for the next step, I have taken a piece of Aluminum foil and I just kind of scrunched it up and kind of made it into sort of an oval shape. I have also cut some ovals out of cardstock and I've glued five of those together. And now I'm just going to be gluing this oval to the center of those. And I'm using hot glue for this. So I think it will stick much quicker and better. So this is going to kind of sit on a pedestal, as a lot of them did. And then I took another piece of foil and I just squished it into like a long, I don't know, I just made like a long thing and then I just kind of wrapped it around itself. As you can see, it's just kind of wrapped around itself. And then I also formed that into an oval and I left one end higher than the other because these tubs always sit at a slant. I don't know how well you'd be able to see that. I'm gonna go ahead and glue this piece onto this piece here. And I tried to get the top of this bottom oval as flat as I possibly could. And then this is just gonna sit on there like that. Higher at one end, lower at the other. And you could do this however you like. I mean, this is just my way of doing it. It's what I thought up when I started this project. So now I'm gonna attempt to form what my tub is going to sit on.
So while I'm waiting for the Mod Podge to set up, I did go ahead and glue this onto my base. And now I'm just going to start wrapping it with some uh, masking tape. got some joint compound and I'm thinking that would be better than the air dry clay however this is so old I don't even know if it's any good it's, uh, it's getting pretty hard Alright, so now I'm just to the part of gluing the tub onto the base. I've sanded everything and it'll just be adding a little more clay, letting that dry, painting the whole thing up, and we should be done. So I've got the glue gun heated up and I'm going to be attaching the tub onto the base now. I'm hoping the hot glue will hold. Now I want to get this on there just like I want it. I don't want it too straight up and down, but I don't want it leaning too far back. The idea of these is kind of like a soaking tub. And I want to be able to get it so that it looks pretty centered. I think we're going to go with that, just like so. And then all we got to do is put some more clay on there and cover the base, fill in the sides over here a little bit, and we're done. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to be doing that with some air dry clay.
So I have to apologize for not getting this video up yesterday when I thought I would. Um, I had some things come up. So anyway, here's what we're looking at. Here's the tub so far. And there's the base. And if I had to do it all over again, I would definitely do the base differently because my base came out too big, too thick in my opinion. So it wasn't the best choice that I made when doing the base of the tub. But it's how it came out. So we're going to put it as a partial fail. Uh, the last thing I'm going to do on this tub, I already went ahead and painted the base black. And it should be... Yeah, it's pretty dry. I'm going to go ahead and go over it with a copper color. Don't ask me why. Probably not a good choice either. But it's what I'm going to do. And then we're going to call this done, and we're going to call it a partial fail. Also, my the inside of my tub is not as smooth as I wish it was. And I wish there had been a way to do this with polymer clay, because I really, I, I would have liked the polymer clay much better, I think, for this. It got very heavy. Uh, a lot of it due to the clays I used. I don't know if polymer would have made it any lighter. But I think it would have been a little easier to smooth out. All in all, I'm not unhappy with it because basically what I wanted to get across to you that could be done with a with packaging for a computer mouse did work. It's just the way that I went ahead and did it. Now I can see where I should have done it a little bit different. But it is what it is. We're calling it a partial fail, partial success. And I'm going to go ahead and paint some copper on the bottom of this. And I think we're going to call it good. I haven't decided what I want to do next with the Trash to Treasure because that'll be the next video again. And I've got, I've got a lot more plastic pieces, nothing like this, but a lot more plastic pieces. And uh, I want to do some lamps because there are so many different ways you can do little lamps and I'm gonna want some lamps from my house that don't work even though I'm wiring the house I'm still gonna want those ones that don't work also because I can't wire them all <laughs> I could I don't didn't buy a big wiring kit because I wasn't sure about wiring I had never done it and now that I see how easy it is I'm like kicking myself for not getting a bigger kit that would have allowed me to wire more lights. But, yeah, I didn't at the time. And so, got my hair in the paintbrush. <laughs> yeah, I'm a hot mess this morning. I just got up a little while ago. I'm supposed to be going to my back to my old job. On well, tomorrow night is supposed to be my last night of the overnights, and uh, I'm supposed to go back to my old job, and I'm excited about that. But the person they hired, they hired a temporary to take my place until they found someone to permanently do so, and they only showed up the first night, and then they didn't come back. So there's a lot of job-related stuff going on. I'm sure it'll all get worked out, hopefully. For the company's sake, sake of the people we take care of, I'm sure, I'm sure it'll all work itself out. But right now, I kind of hate to leave the one job because I know there's only the one girl, and she's such a nice person. And yeah, all right. Well, for better or worse, there's the tub. It's got its copper bottom. We're gonna call it done. Like I said, I'm kind of putting it down to a partial fail. But then again. It does show what you can do with junk. I'm sorry it didn't turn out exactly like I wanted it. Should have definitely went with a much smaller base on it. It looks kind of funny. And it does, but it doesn't. It got very heavy. Um, you know, you could take the computer mouse, actually, and you could just set it up to and put it on legs, and it'd be like one of those, I've got like a little, what is it, four or five foot, claw foot tub that my grandma had. So you could do that, too. You could put the little feet on it and just set it straight as a as a regular tub. Um, so yeah, that's a thought too. 
And thank you for joining me. Thank you so much for your patience in my not getting my video up. I apologize. Sometimes life throws you something and you got to deal with it. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to get this video up. And for better or worse, this is it. Um, I'm calling it a partial fail, partial success. Um, hope you all have a really great day. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.